Hi, if you're having trouble with NVIDIA Shadow Play lagging and stuttering, I'm going to show you a few fixes that might help your problem. So this problem occurs when you have set your Shadow Play. So I'm just going to go into my GeForce experience. And we go to the settings. Well, we go to video capture. And right here, the frame rate is set to 60 FPS. But when you record, um, your recordings do come out at a lower FPS. It looks choppy, it doesn't look good. This problem usually happens with people that have multiple monitors. And one monitor is set to one refresh rate, and the other monitor is set to the other. I have this problem uh, in my display settings, uh, sorry, not in my display settings, in the NVIDIA control panel. You just right click on your desktop, NVIDIA control panel, and at the change resolution tab, you can see I have two displays. Right now, this one is at 60 hertz, and this one is at 60 hertz, but usually I sometimes set mine to 30 hertz. I set it to 30 hertz because of some um, different problem that I'm having in my work and I need to test out something on the on lower Hertz rates but when I play games and I forgot to turn this setting back on when I would record my uh, gameplay I would find that my recordings are choppy now to do this either set your uh, refresh rate back to where it was and make sure that both of your displays have the same refresh rate or you simply unplug the other monitor while recording gameplay um, with NVIDIA Shadowplay. For some reason, some of the newer driver updates uh, caused a problem in Shadowplay uh, that uh, for some reason stutters if you have two monitors of different refresh rates plugged in. Now, um, if you do not want to unplug your monitor, I suggest using something like OBS to externally record the other screen uh, because the next fix is privacy control. You want to disable desktop capture for some reason. Uh, some people have reported that disabling desktop capture actually improves the FPS of their gameplay. So just turn this setting off, go back and you will be good to go. Unfortunately, apart from this, there are no other possible fixes. Uh, usually it is the refresh rate monitor problem. Um, you can always try the basics. So resetting your refresh rate on your monitor. Um, this is uh, just putting it to 50 Hertz, clicking apply and then clicking on no on the changes so that it reverts back to 60 Hertz. Now you have just refreshed your refresh rate on your actual monitor. That's it. Hope it helps and good luck.